Hi, this is Gali Gopher. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about how to get your kids to eat more vegetables. Any parent who understands the importance of consuming vegetables has probably met with the child's objection at the dinner ta table at some point. I personally know that it's not easy to get some kids to eat their vegetables. Sometimes you may find greens hidden under their plates or some zucchini under the table or even worse, the child refuses to eat the whole dish only because of a few peas that are found there. So with so many options that are available today, many kids will not eat vegetables even as a side dish. So how can you prevent a frenzy over vegetables from happening every single day? Well, there are a few secrets that you can employ to get them to eat their vegetables and eventually even enjoy them. Number one, you can cover up the taste. You see, one of the reasons kids dislike vegetables is because of their sometimes bitter taste, especially vegetables like Brussels sprouts, broccoli, kale, arugula, cabbage, and lettuce. They have a slightly bitter taste. And growing up in our era, most foods that are served for children are rich in fats and sugars, or both. So consuming a bitter tasting vegetable will probably be the last thing on their list. Now many adults hate these vegetables for the same exact reasons as well. So expecting your child to eat these vegetables just because they're healthy is just not a very useful approach. Now the first secret is uh, to mask the bitterness of these vegetables by using either vegan butter to either stir fry the vegetables quickly before serving them or to bake them with this vegan butter in the oven. Now this will not only mask the bitterness of the vegetables, but it will make them also very, very tasty. Now vegan butter can be bought in most countries, but in some places it is more difficult to find. In some cases, in such cases, I just recommend preparing your own vegan butter. It's very cheap to prepare, easy to do, and it only takes a few minutes. Um, and then you will need some time to allow it to set in the refrigerator. But in a short time, you will have a great tasting food preparation ingredient that was very easy and cheap to make. So my recipe for creating this great vegan butter is found in the description of this video below. Now another way to increase your child's vegetable uh, consumption is to use vegetable dip for raw vegetables. This makes vegetables eating very fun. For children, you can make uh, carrot sticks or cucumber sticks or pepper sticks and or even have some cherry tomatoes, which they can dip into a dip before consuming them. Now, dips can include uh, tomato salsa made from fresh peeled grated tomatoes, which you can serve either plain or with olive oil and balsamic, balsamic vinegar or a hummus dip, which is wonderful and it adds a lot of nutritional value. Also a tahini dip, which most children really do like, made from sesame seed paste, a squeezed lemon and cumin. And it's very, very tasty and children really like it and you can make it really smooth into a smooth consistency that children really like. The next approach is to cater to their taste buds. You will definitely have noticed that some children have preference to the vegetables that they like. They like certain vegetables and they don't like others. So your goal will be to give them more of the vegetables that they do like. Don't obsess over variety for their nutritional requirements. You want to get them into the habit of eating the vegetables or salad first. Once they are accustomed to eating vegetables on a regular basis that they like, then you can gradually introduce the less preferred vegetables as well. And in this way, they can get used to eating different types of vegetables daily. The next approach is that you need to become a role model. Research shows that kids will copy what you do and not what you tell them to do. So one of the best ways to get your kids to love vegetables is for you to eat your own vegetables with appetite in front of them. Now in front of young children, those under five years of age, you can exaggerate how tasty the vegetables are and how you love eating them. Use words like yummy, mmm, oh this is so tasty, and be happy when you eat your vegetables. Your young kids will see what you do and want to do as you do, and they'll learn to be happy when they eat their vegetables. Now this tactic is a little bit harder with kids that are over five years of age. 
But still, once you place the vegetables on your older child plate and eat your own portion of vegetables, they will slowly get used to eating their veggies too. One study showed that if you let a child taste a new food 10 times, they will become accustomed to the taste and be less likely to refuse it in the future. So all you have to do is to get them to even eat a very small portion 10 times. The next approach is the, to allow them to cook with you. Allowing your child to cook the food uh, with you will make them more eager to try what they have prepared by themselves. Some parents may want to take it a little bit a step further and have them do some gardening uh, with you as well. When helping to harvest, reap, and cook the food, an involved child will really connect to the natural process of natural foods and will have a major sense of satisfaction from eating something that they grew. The next approach is to make eating vegetables fun. You can spice things up by arranging the vegetables on their plates to make smiley faces or different shapes. You may also place a healthy cookie on their plate uh, that, they that they can eat only once they have completed their meal and their vegetables. It may be a small bribe, but still it does work. Now the next uh, uh, approach is to serve the vegetables first. I recommend serving vegetables before the dinner arrives, before the main meal arrives, when they are very hungry there is more chance that they will eat the vegetables and more of them as well. You can just watch and look until they finish their vegetables. Once they have finished their vegetables, bring them the main dish. Uh, and this is how they can explore different tastes as well. The next approach is to add vegetables to a plant-based milkshake. My daughters just love this nutty plant-based milkshake made from vanilla flavored soya milk. Walnuts, pecans, bananas, lemon peel, chia seeds, cinnamon, dates, and all of the greens that are in season, including spirulina and barley grass. Now, it is not the it is very healthy, but it does have sugar in it, added sugar in the soya drink that uh, comes with added sugar. But it's a great and tasty way to get them used to eating green food. So to conclude, if you keep things interesting and are a good role model to your children, most will, with time, eat vegetables without much fanfare. Sometimes it is just best to be quiet about it and not make a big fuss out of things. And some fortunate parents have kids that will naturally love to eat their vegetables and will eat whatever is found on their plate, uh, no questions asked. In this case, please, no reward is necessary. Just let things flow. But in the case of a child that is very fussy, you do want to uh, resort to extra measures uh, to help the child consume their vegetables in a happy and healthy way. So thank you very much for joining me. Please feel free to comment below and let me know what you like best about this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel. I upload uh, new videos about once a week. Also, please visit my website at www.thegorilladiet.com for lots of information on health and weight loss and how you can um, live a healthy and happy life. Thank you very much.